Oh, welcome. Just a quick tutorial on if you've ever been in the landscape and you are confronted with maybe shooting into the sun or even side light and you've got this beautiful light in the foreground but the sky hasn't developed and as the sky starts to develop because the sun's going lower and you get that color you lose your foreground light so there's a technique um, you just got to be thinking when you're in the field just to look for that light uh, in the foreground and to take a shot of it and so this image here you can see uh, this was shot uh, the sun's up about what halfway up the tree so maybe 10 maybe 15 minutes 10 minutes before I went and if I can find that shot when I took uh, this image here so a big difference um, in this image to this image but as you see in this image the sky looks good but I've lost all my light from my foreground which is a shame now I could come in and play with it but it's that's not the way to go you want to have an image that's uh, correctly shot um, it just looks better the colors there uh, you're not getting any noise or um, uh, a washed out looking foreground so be mindful in the field when you're shooting um, and the, if the light is on the foreground and you're not going to move too far away or you've got this kind of the same aspect you're shooting the same aspect um, and the height because these images I did shoot this slightly I think I moved to my right I think it was or to my left slightly but I had kept it in the lower I suppose you could say that's around about a third um, so you can see it's roughly so what I'm going to do is just show you a very basic quick technique is to bring the light from this image and put it into this image so once again just click on those images look you can see that I've done virtually hardly any work on these uh, the biggest thing is you know expose your images correctly keep an eye on your histogram and your camera um, if you come to this image here I was just really uh, you can see a little bit of clipping but I didn't mind because I knew I was just worried about this foreground I didn't really care about the sky so uh, beautiful light coming through so all I did was right click edit and and you come down the bottom here open in Photoshop which I have already done that for time's sake so you can see they've come in and uh, this layer is the sky and this is so you can double click on here and look you want to name them you can so this would have been the foreground so you can just type in foreground but then you could type this one sky if you want so pretty straightforward is just you want to cover this uh, foreground layer with a mask so hit the left alt key come down and just hit your mask icon and that will fill it with black so it's virtually hiding the foreground layer and it's just revealing the sky so if I zoom in now I would take my time here um, but all you have to do is use a white paintbrush and reveal this layer here so what I'm going to do is we've got a black so just hit the X key that will change it to white and hit the B key to hit the brush and what you want to do <coughs> I'll just use my bracket keys my right bracket key and we're sitting at about 80% look we could bring this through to our out through 100 and just paint this light even though this wasn't lined up you know exactly because I'd moved you just want to come in and just be careful as you get to the edges of uh, the top here because and just bring that light in now zoom in <clears throat> we can see it's a bit of sugar yeah a bit of sugar cane here so what you can do you can probably just zoom and really take your time and just I'm using a tablet so I'm just applying pressure and now I'm really gently because I want that blend to look you know reasonable so I'm not uh, to me it's not cheating here I'm bringing in what was there like 10 minutes before and just come back to about 20% and just be careful now now I could use a harder brush I could come up here I'm on a soft brush and you could just maybe a little bit harder maybe a smaller brush um, left bracket key and just come in because that road is kind of my guideline um, I don't want to cover that and just bring yeah, we're looking looking good and come through here just paint maybe a bit smaller we could probably bring it 
just paint. Yeah, with the tablet you can actually um, add pressure to that tablet. You can push more paint if you want, or if you want to be very gentle, you just uh, apply less pressure. So to me, if you're editing in your images, I highly recommend getting a uh, getting a tablet. And I think on my YouTube channel, there's one that I use. Um, they update the software quite regularly, so just keep an eye that you do have uh, the latest uh, firmware. Okay, look, so let's just zoom back out and let's just turn that off. Go back to there. Now, <clears throat> you might say, oh, it's too strong or not enough. So what you do, you've got the opacity slider on that layer here. So you, you just hit, you can actually lessen the opacity if you want. So actually don't mind it about there. So that's just really a quick way of, I don't know what you'd call it, a bit of time blending maybe. I don't know if you'd call it time blending, but only a matter of five or 10 minutes before the sun was here. No color in the sky and behind the clouds and through some beautiful color but just keeping that foreground so it really depends on you nothing wrong with the silhouette but if you want to just add some more drama um, to your images you can just just as I said just when you're in the field just looking for that light maybe you need to uh, shoot an image a few minutes earlier and uh, and just do that so thanks for watching